It's YouTube, yeah. And welcome. Um, this is my first official guided meditation session in English. Um, and I want to say that I'm going to be doing this uh, therapeutic meditation session probably like once a month, but we'll see. And I base them on um, the astrological transits of the moment so that we can take advantage of the energy we're feeling and use it in our favor. So I'm going to start the session with a super brief intro um, to explain what's been going on in the astrological world lately and extremely, extremely summarize so that you don't get overwhelmed with a bunch of new information. Okay, so first of all, um, our planet Earth is going through a big, big, big transformation process that aligns with the um, arrival of the age of Aquarius. Uh, you've probably heard this a bunch of times, but never really understood what it really meant. Um, well, what, be, what we've been experiencing the last month is like a, like a wake-up call to our consciousness to get our attention and let us know um, that now is the time to change. And it's giving us the next three years to do so. So we need to be aware that Earth's frequencies get, is getting higher and as a consequence, so is ours. And that is why we're all here and why we've been going through this pandemic. If you think about it, pandemics make bodies evolve and grow stronger. stronger. And um, that's exactly what's happening. Our planet is already giving us tools to prepare our bodies for the higher frequency that's coming. So we need to be aware that um, the era we're leaving behind is the era of Pisces. Pisces represents our religions, fanatism, manipulations of society, secrets, um, control, and repressions of the masses fights, wars, and, and fantasies, which is what we've been seeing and what, what, we, what we've been um, experiencing for the past 2,000 years. So now in the age of Aquarius that, that's coming like now in this next year, um, where we're headed now, this, um, the new religion is self-knowledge. So we're taking our attention from a God outside, outside of us to the God inside, inside of us. So um, we're starting to see how we are the creators and the gods of our own reality. So um, it's also going to be... Sorry. Okay. Um, okay, where was I? Sorry, there was some noise. Um, So we're starting to see um, how we are the creators and the gods of our own reality. Um, there's also going to be lots of changes in society and in all the political systems, because um, it's all going to be based in, hon in honesty and not in lies, because Aquarius is the age of freedom, transformation, truth, and new technologies. And, and, and it brings awakening uh, in, the, in the connection to our higher selves. So if we understand the symbol of, of, of Aquarius, what it really means is, is the water bearer, is a man that brings the waters from the sky and pours them directly on the ground. Um, and what, what, this symbols, uh, what this symbolizes is, um, well, it's telling us that we need to connect with our souls. We need to um, connect with the higher, with our higher selves to materialize this information that's going to come from from our connection within and put it into projects here on earth so right now we're in the moment where truths are going to come out because our society is awakening and the lies that they could tell before they're no longer sustainable because we're in that moment of cleanse a cleanse of the old, old system um, because we're, we're making a way um, to the new one that's coming. So um, with this um, global astrological super summarized information, uh, we can now focus in what's going on today. And it's the new moon that just entered 
the constellation of Gemini. So apart from the new from from the moon that just entered, um, this sign is hosting a lot of planets. Um, because apart from the moon, we have um, the planet of love, Venus, Mercury, the sun that entered yesterday, and the North Node, which means the mission of our society for the next uh, two years. Yeah. So we're going to experience the connection with this sign in all its glory because there's a big party of planets in it. And what this is telling us is that now is the time to learn new things things that are different. We're feeling, um, truly feeling the energy of Gemini for the next month. And it's a time of a communication boom. It's a time to, to express your feelings, to express your thoughts, to cleanse and organize your mind. And it's a time, it's a time that there's going to be lots of communication, lots of new ideas, um, new thoughts, lots of information coming out. It's a time for agreements and for solutions. And our mind is going to be extremely, extremely active during this month. And we need to put um, the hunger we're going to be experiencing for knowledge um, into good use. So for today's meditation, we're going to connect with the energy of Gemini, the sign of the month. And it's the sign that rules our mind and the way we communicate. And in this meditation, we're going to do a little mind reset, cleansing and organizing our thoughts and emotions. And we're going to do um, like a cleanse of all the negative thoughts we have been experiencing and negative energies that are trapped in our mind and that are creating a reality for us. And to integrate Gemini's energy a little more, uh, we're going to feel the duality of this sign. And, and I'm, we're gonna feel it merging in our bodies by working in this meditation with, with our two brain hemispheres and activating them. Okay, so the song that we're now listening to connects us directly with the dolphins' frequencies. Since dolphins are the beings with the highest capacity of communication and helps us to balance our energies just by listening to, to it. I thought it was a really um, great song that would pair with our meditation today and connect with Gemini, the sign of communications. So now we're gonna start to relax and we're gonna be listening our bodies and doing any stretch that my body needs. Paying attention to it with love and care. Whenever we're ready, we're going to close our eyes and we're going to start focusing on our breath. Our breath is our most precious ally to who we have to be forever grateful. I want you to take three big inhales and we're going to exhale, exhale the words, thank you. And we're going to do it three times. We inhale and we exhale. Thank you. Again, inhale. Exhale. Thank you. One last time. Inhale and exhale thank you i allow myself to feel this feeling of gratitude 
resonating throughout my whole body. First, I want you to take your awareness to the soles of your feet and allow yourself to feel how your feet feel. Now I want you to picture how energetic roots come out from your soles, connecting you and grounding you to the center of the earth. I allow myself to feel how these roots absorb all this energy in the form of light from the center of our planet and bring it all the way up to my feet my legs, my knees, the bottom of my spine, my pelvis, my stomach, my back, my chest, my shoulders, my arms, my neck, my jaw, my face, my eyes, covering all my head with this healing and balancing energy, cleansing all tension and all negative thoughts, taking me to a state deep realization and connection with myself. It's now in this state that I'm ready for the energetic alignment session. love, I'd like you to bring your attention to your right foot and I'd like you to allow yourself to feel it. It is on this foot that I feel all the masculine energy of earth, how I feel the man around me, my work, money. I allow myself to feel and breathe, sending energy and light to these foot with the help of my breath, balancing it and paying attention to it with minimum effort. Now, I am going to bring my attention to my left foot. Here's where I feel all the feminine energy of the earth. Like how I feel the woman around me, creativity, my sensitivity. I allow myself to feel it and give it my love and attention and charge it with energy just by breathing into it. to feel and calibrate my two feet at the same time and feel which of the two needs more energy 
and I give it just by breathing into it until I find the perfect balance between my two feet. figure. I allow myself to feel and listen to my right knee, sending it light and energy with each breath. to divide. 
divide my attention between my two hands and feel which of them needs more energy, my hand to give or my hand to receive. Do I give too much to others or maybe not enough? Do I feel like I'm not receiving enough perhaps? I allow myself to feel with a lot of love and I send energy and light to the hand that I feel needs it the most until I find the perfect calibration between the two of them. Responsibilities with others, with my work, and with my male partner if I am a woman. I allow myself to feel my right shoulder and send it light and attention with each breath. more love until I find the perfect balance between the two. that energy 
into my future as well.
Without any effort, this light begins to cover all land and ocean that comes to touch with, healing everything it touches. And it continues to expand without limit and it starts to cover the entire planet without any effort. I can now visualize my planet Earth covered with this healing white energy that comes from me. I allow myself to enjoy this wonderful feeling of fullness, expansion, and connection with my planet. When I feel it's time, I'm going to start to move my body little by little. I'm going to end this meditation with an act of gratitude to myself for giving me a few minutes of connection to balance myself and my planet. Thank you.